Good day and welcome back to the channel everybody. This is Arms High Life. We do videos of firewood, tree jobs, and a bit of outdoor exploring. I would also like to say hi to all of our subscribers. Welcome everybody that's new. But in today's video, we're going to be doing another uh, just a firewood video. Just here in the yard, just picking away with a bit of work. Other than that, there's not been too much going on around here. We had a big snowfall a few days ago. As you guys, uh, I'll just take you guys out here so you can see. A lot of it is melting here. We, we did warm up to... Uh, it's like plus six out here today. We're gonna to be getting up to uh, some plus double digits next week. So we're gonna be excited for that. We're gonna be banging off some of our bigger guys there. Get them hand split it up again. And then do that same process that we did there a few days ago in our video. But other than that, uh, today we got uh, half cord. We got to get tossed into the truck and stacked up uh, for tomorrow's orders. We also have another few orders possibly going out tomorrow. We just got to confirm them before we get them loaded up. But I'm just going to turn you guys around here quickly. There we are. So in here, our progress, we're still pretty much sitting at the exact same four rows. We, we're still waiting to make a fifth row in here. We're slowly piling it up to get built up. In here, we finally hit our fourth row. Pretty much, we still have about four arm loads that we got to go throwing up there. We're still going to throw in another fifth row in there, and then that one's going to be filled up. Getting dirty in here, we got a lot of wood processed just up right in here. Some tossed off into there, we got about a cord in there. And uh, we're just waiting for this stuff, it's going to be probably all sold in the next uh, two days here. So we're just kind of leaving that stuff right there. A lot of cleanup that we have to do though, once tomorrow sales pretty much end up, we'll have quite a bit more room in here. We can bring the wheelbarrow in here, get the sawdust and all that stuff out. Our pile out here though is looking pretty bare. We're running out of wood pretty good. This one tree, I'm not too sure exactly what we're gonna be doing with it. It's got these massive knots all the way through it. And uh, I know with the, our processors, they're not very uh, friendly to these kind of trees with these knots. I'm not sure how what we're gonna do with this one, especially with the size. So that one might just get ended up uh, hand split up into uh, bigger chunks and then just sold as a uh, cheaper firewood for people just with heating. But on that, uh, and also this one, we got a really twisted one. These can either go through not bad or they can go through horribly. So we're gonna have to probably just check out that center piece, see if it goes through. If it doesn't, we're just gonna put it to the side and that's gonna be also chunked up to bigger pieces. Sorry for the traffic, guys. But in that, yeah, we're kind of going down to our last little bit. We're running into, gonna be running into our bigger guys here soon. Hopefully we're able to get another truckload in here next week or so. But before we get uh, onto our half cord stacking up, I'd also like to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone down in the States there. Hope you guys are all having a great day. But uh, let's get on to uh, loading up this half cord here, guys, first. And there's our half cord all stacked up into our box here. A big question that I get uh, asked and I notice getting asked quite a bit is how much can you get into a truck box load? A lot of people, when they buy it, they ask that. And a few people that are, I guess, just starting out into selling firewood, they ask that. But a uh, good question is if you've got a regular size box, which most people do nowadays, if stacked in there nicely, Pretty much like you got to go right to the box level you can get a half cord in there if tossed in you're looking at one third of a cord and uh if you get a box load that's kind of just underneath 
it just tossed in, but it's underneath the box load here, kind of everywhere around there. You're looking at about a quarter cord of uh, wood there. So if anyone that, so for anyone that's buying wood or delivering wood, easy way to measure out your order when you're uh, kind of just eyeballing it in a truck box there, is uh, that way. You cannot get a cord in there unless you've got an eight foot box and you got four foot uh, rails on the side and it's stacked in there nicely. Then you can get a cord in a in an actual truck box, but it's got to be the long box there. A little bit of advice for anyone that's uh, either buying wood or just starting to sell firewood. But for the rest of the video here, we're going to get a custom order done up here for tomorrow. We got a call in for a quarter cord and he wants them all at 12 inch pieces. We sell all of our stuff at 16 inch pieces. So we're going to have to uh, preset our dial there. Move it in four inches so we're good for uh, 12 inch pieces and uh, get that quarter cord uh, already there for tomorrow. It's going to be just since a quarter cord it won't be, take very long and uh, just very few logs it will go through to make that. But we're going to get that ready up here next and uh, that's probably going to be a wrap up for today's video. So uh, let's get some swing done. measured out here start at the blade we'll move over here to 12 inches exactly easy to move this thing we got uh, just these two screws you unloosen them or tighten them up wherever you want to move it slides either way I usually put a pair of ice grips up there put a pair of ice grips up there just so it doesn't move at all sometimes when you uh, get a few logs on there it starts to uh, slowly move down and then your pieces will slowly get bigger. So I just put the vice grips there and it's always, no matter how many times I kind of hit that back plate there, it's not moving at all. So uh, let's get on to some splitting here guys before the sun goes down. So as we were getting this order ready here, I noticed that a lot of our scraps were uh, just over 12 inches. So I decided to go through them and uh, cut them all down to 12 inches. And I was going outside uh, there and trying to find all the smaller chunks that didn't quite make 16 inches. And we decided to cut them right all down to 12 inches. And we were able to get a lot of it done until... So unfortunately our one order that ordered the custom 12 inch pieces the quarter core there just canceled the order uh, a little bit of good news our bigger orders did uh give us the conf confirmation to go out uh, tomorrow there to deliver their stuff so we got our the trailer hooked up there we're gonna load up a cord into the back there and uh we're pretty much gonna be done for today but that's gonna be wrap up for today's video guys hope you guys are all gonna be getting this nice beautiful weather here for you guys this weekend and uh hope you guys can get outside and enjoy it all but we're gonna be uh splitting up more wood and doing a bunch of firewood deliveries we're going to talk to you guys again on Monday, though. Thanks again for tuning into Armin's High Life. Bye, guys.